Before going on a cruise ship, it's always important to know what's going to be your drink of choice. Today, we are here to count down our top 10 favorite bars at sea and the one that we would never go to again. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan. And I'm Jared. And we are JJ, JJ Cruz. <laughs> now, you may have recently seen our countdown of our five favorite specialty restaurants at sea. We had so much fun doing that one that we decided to do one for the adult beverages as well. But before we get into that, if you could do us a favor and subscribe to the channel, we would really appreciate it. We are so close to 30,000 subscribers and we'd love for you to be a part of the first 30K. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button. It's free to you, but means the world to us. Thank you so much in advance. When you get on board a cruise ship, one of the first things most adults do is find their first <laughs> crusade drink. And of course, we have to talk about our top 10 favorite bars on cruise ships and the one bar that we really will not go back to ever again. Now, we're going to go in order here, going from the best to our absolute favorite, followed by the worst of the worst. But let's kick it off here by talking about number 10, which is... Wonderland. Wonderland is a bar that is found on several Royal Caribbean ships, but on the Oasis class ships, there is actually a bar that you can go to. I don't think actually a lot of people know this. Yeah, so Wonderland is a restaurant. That is the focus, it's a specialty restaurant, and it has a really unique menu. It's all based off of Alice in Wonderland as a theme, but that goes into their drinks as well. And on some of the Oasis class ships, there's an actual bar that you can go and without the restaurant experience, go and have some of the specialty cocktails, including characters from Alice in Wonderland <laughs> inside your cup. Some of our favorites is the Cheshire Cat, which is served with cotton candy. My personal favorite and one of my favorite drinks of all time is the Smoke Rings. And yes, that is dedicated to the Caterpillar if you're in Alice in Wonderland. This drink has a bourbon base and it is super, super smoky. Actually, when they bring it out to you, it smokes and it just fills your mouth with a lot of warmth and that sultry, smoky bourbon flavor that is out of this world. So if you're on a Royal Caribbean ship, especially in that Oasis class, try to find if Wonderland has one of those bars so you can go ahead and take in the ambiance, both outside of your body and indulge on the inside as well. <laughs> Moving into number nine, it's the Manor on Virgin Voyage's Scarlet Lady. Now, if you don't know, the Manor is one of the best photo ops you can get on board a ship. The entryway is I guess world famous at this point. <laughs> it has all those great globes. It is an entrance into the nightclub and it is truly a nighttime experience. But one of our top tips is to get bottle service in the manor. Bottle service is one of the cheapest ways without a drink package on Virgin Voyages, but also with a really good mix of different alcohols with the mixers and chasers on the side, all served with your bottle to your table whenever you like. I think one of our bottles that we got was only $85. And again, it came with all of the different chasers and mixers. And the great thing is if you don't finish the bottle, they let you take it with you. Um, so it is really a great value. And I think the mix of value and entertainment that is provided in the manor makes this one of the top on our list. Number eight, we're giving to Pink, which is found on the Disney Dream. Now, if you have not sailed Disney Cruise Line, they have some of the most eclectic and unique bars at sea. They say that this bar is not themed after Dumbo, but I would think that we would disagree. <laughs> you walk in and of course there are elephants everywhere. Um, this is a champagne bar and they are known for serving Moe. So if you are a Moe Shandon, am I saying that right? I hope so. A Moe Shandon <laughs> fan. Um, they have Moe cocktails here. They also have a piano with live performances. We ended our night in pink every single night when we were on the Disney Dream because the ambiance is so fun and so fresh. But what's better than ending your night at sea with a glass of champagne? I absolutely love champagne, but sometimes I really want a cocktail as well. So what I really appreciate about this whole bar is that they have champagne cocktails and that is where my soft spot for this bar is. But the ambiance itself is just so cute. Even walking into this kind of 
pink bubble is just so cool. <laughs> so that is why pink takes our number eight spot. Let's talk about number seven. That is found on Carnival Cruise Line Mardi Gras. That is the Brass Magnolia Bar. We absolutely loved this bar when we sailed on the inaugural Mardi Gras sailing. This bar has all the New Orleans favorites from a hurricane to even what I loved, a Bayou Lemonade. It's absolutely a fun menu, but also the jazz that happens right in that same space is undeniable. It's just a fun spot to be. This bar is located in the French Quarter area of the ship, and we think that the theming here is just so smart. Carnival did a great job planning out this whole neighborhood of the ship, but we loved this bar, and I just loved sitting back and listening to the jazz music that they had there on the stage. It's a bar that we would definitely spend a lot of time on again if we find ourselves on the Mardi Gras, and if you are going on the Mardi Gras soon, it's going to be one that you cannot miss. Okay, number six is one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> and I guess I'm talking a lot of Disney here because this is the Cove Cafe on the Disney Dream. Now, the Cove Cafe is a staple across the Disney Cruise Line fleet. But on the Dream, we did something so unique that we have not done in any other place, on any other ship, I should say. <laughs> and that was that we had an absinthe tasting. They do the traditional absinthe absinthe drip um, on this ship in this bar for a pretty decent price, but we loved it. Not only do we like absinthe, we loved that they pulled this whole contraption up from under the bar to actually do this experience with us. It's one of the experiences that I will never forget, and it to this day is probably my favorite thing about the Disney Dream. Cove Cafe is one of my favorites as well because it is a coffee shop that transforms into a bar as well. The best part is you get these delicious snacks to go alongside everything and they are included. So whether it's in the morning with a coffee and you have some baked desserts or baked treats to later in the evening or in the afternoon with nuts and meats and cheeses, which I know Jordan's favorite, uh, you can have these alongside your cocktails as well. Next, number five, and this is found on Celebrity Cruises on a lot of their ships, especially their classic ships, it's the World Class Bar. Now we went to the World Class Bar on multiple ships, but most recently on Celebrity Beyond. And one of our go-to cocktails there, which is less of a cocktail and just an experiential <laughs> taste, is Above the Clouds. It takes the Cop XO, mix it with the smoky, mm. uh, cloud-like, uh, Voss. Uh, decanter, I think, is the right word for it, but it's absolutely incredible. It is the best sips you'll have, and that is just starting what they have on the menu. They have a lot of high-end liquors at this bar, a lot of high-end cocktails. We love going there for a nightcap or a pre-dinner drink because it's something that you can get and just sip on. Obviously, we're very big Zacapa fans, so any rum-based drinks at this bar have been made traditionally with Zacapa. But the above the clouds, again, we're going back to the smoke. <laughs> if it involves smoke, it's something that I'm going to love. So we love the World Class Bar. It is more than just a bar. It's an experience. We're gonna jump back to the Carnival Mardi Gras and talk about the Fortune Teller Bar. Now, this is another bar that you're gonna find in the French Quarter on the ship. Again, kudos to Carnival because they did such a good job with this particular area of the ship. The Fortune Teller Bar has its signature drink with the same name, the Fortune Teller, uh, but they basically put a glass ball of smoke on top of your drink. The drinks are so fun. The bartenders there are awesome. And it, it gives just spooky vibes. Um, definitely it goes along with the more New Orleans voodoo fortune teller, the mystic type of feel. We love the ambiance that this bar really brought out. Kudos to Carnival for really doing the French Quarter justice. French Quarter is well known in New Orleans as being the bar and party streets and quarter of town that you have a good time in. And we had a great time at both Fortune Teller Bar and Brass Magnolia. And really what I would say for anyone that hasn't been on Mardi Gras is this bar is like Alchemy Bar on the other ships times 10 with theming. It really is that high craft cocktail experience mixed with a really high-end theme, which we absolutely loved and are obsessed with. Let's talk about number three, 
This is found on Royal Caribbean's brand new ship, Wonder of the Seas. This is the Mason Jar. The Mason Jar is a restaurant, but there's also a bar that you can go sit down. You can also have late night eats there. So if you just want a bite of the Mason Jar, you can actually have even a chicken sandwich at the bar. <laughs> uh, obviously this is extra cost, just like the drinks would be. But one of our favorite drinks there was the PB&J Old Fashioned. The PB&J Old Fashioned is everything you want it to be. It comes with a little tiny peanut peanut butter and jelly sandwich on top and the old fashioned is strong but delicious. It's great because you sit there and sip on these drinks, eat the food all while listening to a live band. The musicians that were on Wonder were great and really brought in that home style music to make you feel like you were in the comforts of the South. The Mason Jar Bar definitely tops the Mason Jar restaurant in our opinion. Uh, and if you are going on Wonder of the Seas, maybe bypass the restaurant and get the food at the bar along with a little peanut butter and jelly old fashioned. That's a top tip for you at home. Number two, we're going back to Disney. I'm talking about all the Disney today, I guess. <laughs> uh, but we're talking about the Cadillac Lounge on board the Disney Wonder. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Disney provides some of the most unique experiences when it comes to their beverage service and the drinks that they offer. And that is true once again for this bar. The ambiance takes you back to the 1950s, the time of the Thunderbird and the Cadillac, and provides you with really fun drinks. What was the drink that we had in the teapot? Oh yes, the Kettle One Experience for two. That's it. That is with jasmine tea <sighs> and served with Kettle One Vodka. And it's just a unique experience. Just really gives you a, a taste of warmth with a nice liquor included. <laughs> <laughs> but you also really like the pink Cadillac. Yeah, the pink Cadillac, which is kind of the signature drink there, comes with macaroons, which is one of my favorite desserts on the side. But the actual cocktail is a pink martini glass, and it is full of Moe Shandon. And uh, I hope it's Moe. Moe? Moe? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> we'll probably say it really wrong. But it's absolutely delicious. But the best part about all of this is that the whole ambience with the piano guy at night really makes it the go-to spot on board. So if you ever want to meet some people, mingle with some new friends, it is the perfect spot because everyone shows up there on board the Disney Wonder. Okay, we forgot to mention something, and I think that you forgot about this completely. We didn't talk about the olives. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the stuffed olives. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Order the stuffed olives in just a nice little bowl and they'll come with a bunch of them. You obviously can get them with martinis, but get them in a side bowl and you're gonna be good to go and really happy for the rest People of People the raved about these olives on our sailing and I think we waited until like the second to last night to actually yeah. try them. I'm not a big olive fan, but Jared loves them. Did they live up to the hype? Oh my gosh, these stuffed olives. <laughs> uh. Love it. Maybe they deserve a video of their own. <laughs> Before we get into our number one pick, we are going to get into some honorable mentions. There's a lot of great bars at sea, so we want to mention some that just didn't fall in our top 10 for certain reasons, but we want to make sure they're mentioned here. First on the list for honorable mention is the Piano Bar 88. This is followed on Carnival Cruise Line, and we've had it on Carnival Horizon to Mardi Gras. Really is a true place to go for entertainment to the max. You'll have someone at the keys playing your favorite hits and singing along. When it comes to the menu at the bar, it's more traditional bar menu, so it's nothing to write home about for the drink selection, but for the experience, it is definitely a favorite place to go. Another one that we need to put on the list is Sabor. Now, Sabor is a specialty dining restaurant on Royal Caribbean, and the actual Sabor bars on Harmony and Allure of the Seas do not have the drinks that we're gonna talk about. If you follow the channel, you know we love the avocado margarita at this restaurant. You have to actually go into the restaurant up to the bar to get that drink. It is not a bar that you can just hang out at and just lounge around at. So that's why it makes the honorable mentions list because we had to mention that those drinks are our favorite margaritas at sea, but it's not technically a bar like some of the rest of these. When we have Sabor on board our ship, we have to have an avocado <laughs> margarita every single day. It is that good. So definitely go get an avocado margarita. And last from the 
honorable mention list is Sugarcane Mojito Bar on board NCL Bliss. Uh, no Norwegian Cruise Line has some great bars out there, and this is one of them, serving some incredible mojitos, lots of variety and types. We also love that it was indoor and outdoor. It just didn't really make the top 10 list, but is top of our minds whenever on board Norwegian Cruise Line. Coming in at the number one spot should not be a surprise to people if they followed our channel, but it is the Martini Bar aboard Celebrity Cruises. Now this bar is found across all of the ships, but the Martini Bars that are on the Edge class ships, specifically Celebrity Beyond, is amazing. The staff is incredible. They put on a show every single night. Sometimes the captains even get involved in the show <laughs> of pouring the drinks, making a martini fountain right in front of you. We love the martini bar and there's some favorites that we have at this bar as well. Yeah, I cannot go to the martini bar without having a especially martini, whether that's an espresso martini, which we all love an espresso martini to give us a little kick into our nights, <laughs> but also the ginger martini. This was our favorite on board the transatlantic sailing of Celebrity Edge, and it was the favorite across the martini bar because it really helped with any rough waves uh, and made sure that you had a tasty beverage while doing so. Those ginger martinis were really doing double duty, <laughs> filling my stomach and making me happy, but also keeping me balanced at the same time. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments below if you have actually experienced a show, a really good bartender performance at the Martini Bar on Celebrity Cruises, uh, as well as what are your favorite martinis at that bar? And don't let the comments stop there. Let us know if you like all of these bars that we've mentioned today, if you have a certain favorite one, if there's one that we've missed, and if you agree with what we are about to say which is the one bar that we will never go back to again. This was such an unfortunate experience. We actually <laughs> went there live and that made it even worse. We were so excited to try this place out. It's the Fresca Cantina on board. Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, the brand new ship. We were so excited to try the watermelon margarita there. To our dismay, it was just purely syrup and tequila. And the tequila was maybe this much and the syrup was maybe this much. <laughs> Um, I've never tasted a drink that was so disappointing and so jammy. It was like I was drinking the syrup right through my straw, which actually that's what it was. Uh, they do not make fresh margaritas here. With how good Sabor was on other ships, we thought that this margarita bar was going to be it. And it was not. <laughs> It was really an unfortunate experience at Fresa Cantina, but we know that the more bars out there, the merrier. And so we're glad that it's for somebody, hopefully, out there. <laughs> Please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and until next time, see ya!